Hello and welcome back here friends, it's me Odo. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Inmaker. Let's see. Um, last time we um, were finishing the ruined watchtower, we probably found everything there that we have to find. We found a really tremendous, um, what's it called, treasure. We found a plus two uh, constitution strength and dexterity belt, which is great, really great for Kumbayo because he's attacking with um, uh, dexterity and doing damage with um, strength, so it's good for him to have both. Mm. Yeah, and then we went on, and this is one a generic um, thing. There will be no thing, uh, no quest things, <laughs> auto things, I say here. And then we will go down there. There are a lot of quests, places that we have to find. So let's enter the bandit camp. Probably we can gear it today. This should be a small site. Mm-hmm. And it rains again. Oh, there is someone to talk to. Good. Hey, you all are leaving some for me, right? Just stand, look out like you were told. The man's voice carries the weight of command. He seems to be the leader of these bandits. His bushy beard is matted and remnants of the last day's meals are still evident in it. Quit your whining, we always take care of our own, don't we? Says a shoveled rotund woman with a round face. Okay. Ha, oh, right you are. Hey. <laughs> when ha when have we Ever mistreated you, Shorty? <laughs> Short ratty man whose filthy strands of hair do little to obscure his prominent bald spot doesn't even try to watch the road. His eyes are locked on the sight of his companions rummaging through their most recent haul of obviously stolen loot. Ekon raises his bow and silently knocks an arrow. Noticing your attention, he nods towards the band toward the bandits. Worse than trolls, bred human, choose to be monsters. The bandit leader looks up and jumps with a start when he sees you, his sole eye wide in disbelief. Shorty, you ass! You were supposed to watch the road. Shorty spins to face you to face you, finally noticing your presence. Hey, someone's coming. Grab your blades, he yells belatedly. Hey, hold on, everyone, the bandit leader says. As he sheaths the sword, he dawned just a moment ago, and Shorty stopped, foaming. Look here, this is our glorious baroness herself. Come now, bow down, everyone bow down. <laughs> Bandit leader bows low, a smirk showing through the bushy beard. The rest of the bandits clumsily repeat the gesture, all except Shorty, who can only glance back and forth, unable to comprehend the situation. Who are you? What's going on here? There's no place for bandits in my barony. What's that now? The bandit leader feigns surprise. Always been a place for us here here before, but now it's up and disappeared. We've been associated with the Stag Lord's band, 
but since you went and beat the stag out of him, we are left on our own. Sure. Honest work isn't the thing. So now you ought to take us in, your grace. We'd be even better with a strong leader. Hmm. Well, we are not lawful good. We are lawful. Let's see what they have to say. Aye, your grace. We are ready and willing to serve. We'll take a pledge right now, if you want. We'll kiss your boots, your ass, whatever you need. We're sick to death of hiding in the woods and sleeping in the dirt. Why be bandits when we could take from traders legal-like? <laughs> Collect taxes, he means, your grace. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this would be a very corrupt tax collector. <clears throat> All for the glory of your grace, bandit leader says with a grin. Hey, what are you saying? Shorty shakes his head. He's not the, the intelligent kind. This is the reason why he was doing the watch. If that's the Baroness, the only job she'll have for us is as noose tighteners. I say we cut her down and call it day. Shut your trap, ma Shorty. I beg your pardon, your grace. Dumb as a doornail. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Just joined our company, but recently. The very sight of these low-life scoundrels offends me. Okay, and she's uh, lawful neutral. So we probably will attack them. Hey, Bertha, look at the girl in the Baroness's service. Clean and slick and well-groomed she is. You could have a, you could take a lesson or three from her, I say. Oh, she's not bad. All right. But would you even know what to do with her? It's all you can do today with me once a week, and I barely get the yawn in before you finish. I doubt you could sit the saddle to ride her kind. <laughs> Lower than vermin. Valerie says with a grimace. With your permission, I would happily cleanse the world of this stuff. Okay, lawful evil. All right, I'll hire you. The barony ha has been lacking manpower recently. All the taxes you collect will go to the barony treasury. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I wouldn't do this. I mean, would a lawful evil character be so stupid as to hire them? I mean, I'm pretty sure they would rob me because they are pretty, I'm pretty sure that they are chaotic evil. I mean, I'm not lawful good, but I don't think that a lawful evil character would would uh, would do this. Probably he would. Uh, he would send them away or something like that, or send them in jail, bring them in jail or something like that. I mean, this would be more lawful evil than this, I think. Although it's chaotic neutral. Let's take the lawful good stuff. Scoundrels like these are why the stolen lands gain the reputation they have. I'm glad you tolerate them no more than I do. Okay. He robs folk worse than us. Yeah, you're sure. You're right. And then has the nerve to 
boo all these this righteous crap at us. I say we get him. Okay. Stupid me was... Hmm. Okay. Ekundayo. Any arrow fired from a bow or crossbow are carrying when the spell is cast, which is size larger. And go back. Tear them apart! Hey, not a not attack a Miri. And a bless for everyone. Attack battery. Really? How come you all attack a Miri? Stupid. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's attack this guy because this one we will hit easier because he's on the floor. Um, let's take a five. And then let's attack this guy. Ooh. Nice hit. Your death awaits. Really? Okay. So let's attack Hendrick. Oh god. Mm. That's a bone shaker on you, Henry. Oh my god, this was brutal. That was Hendrik. This was the leader, I think. Yay. Me. 
Nice hit. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's heal once. Really? Amiri. Nowhere to run. So, come on, Amiri. <clears throat> Nearly dead. That's good. Hmm, nice stuff. What's that? That's the My yield unidentified. Scale mail unidentified. That's good. Short sword. Masterwork short sword. Nice. Okay, and the short bow. And let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, a plus one heavy mace. And... Nothing in particular. Lantorx pendant. Okay, that's it. Oh no, there is something. A wand of cure light wounds. Ooh, fancy. So this will go to you. Because then you will start healing stuff out of the people. <gasps> mm -hmm. mm, that will take some time. We will use up all of this light wound thingy. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, nine points. Yay. This will not take forever, but nearly. More than enough. Um, let's see if we'll find something more. Yay! What's that? A gold ring. That's kind of cool. There is the outside. If 
telefon. They can dumb. They would only be problem. They would only be problematic. Okay, that was that. Let's leave the place. We have too much stuff here anyway, right now. I'm not sure if we should go back and put back all the stuff that we found before going on. I mean, we could at least go to the Cobalt Trail before returning. Okay, there's a cobalt camp. But something else, which is hot. Oh, time to get some rest, isn't it? Well, let's just first do a camping. We can rest. <clears throat> yeah, um, until next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.